rumours that narcissistic people spread about you and they are often very sly with this as a narcissistic person can be playing nice and being really nice and kind to you as you're not aware that they are spreading rumours behind your back and they're usually spreading these to people who gossip first so that they're flying monkeys and enablers spread the rumours for the narcissist so that the narcissist when they get found out can stand back and say it's nothing to do with them they don't know why people are discussing those things they might have mentioned one thing in passing but they didn't realize that it was going to set off the way it did when they did they purposely told somebody who gossips in order to discredit your character and ruin your reputation and you might not know apps anything about what is happening you might simply just turn up at an event with the narcissist and people just seem off with you people just seem distant with you which gets you questioning yourself and who you are as a person because you're unaware that the person you are with is spreading rumors about you these can be rumours such as they can claim that you have some form of an addiction, that you're an alcoholic, that you like gambling, that you're a shopaholic, that you're interested in porn, drugs, sex. More often than not, but not always, it's usually an addiction that the narcissist themselves has so that they can get away with their behaviour because they've pinned all the blame onto you. You're the one with those issues or neither of you might have those issues the narcissist is just starting rumors or you might very well just like to have a gamble at the bookies now and again or a drink no harm a narcissist will take what you do and exaggerate it to the maximum to those who gossip to spread those rumors about you they might claim that you have financial issues or that you drain them of all their finances when often they're the ones with the financial issues and they drain you of all your finances. We can all have financial issues and with a genuine person, you usually try to help each other out. You don't start spreading rumours about people's personal lives to people whereby those people, it's none of their business as to what is going off in your life. They might claim that you're the abusive one, you're the liar, you're the cheater. Now, neither of you, not all narcissistic people cheat. They will cheat you out of your happiness, your hopes, your dreams, your health, your wealth, your friends and family. Then they're not all, they don't all commit adultery on you. However, those who are the liars and the cheaters, they will accuse you of being the liar and the cheater in order so that they can gain that sympathetic attention from those around them and so that people look poorly on you. Now, you could have been dealing with a narcissistic cheater. Now, when you are telling somebody that this is what happened, you are speaking the truth about what actually happened. Narcissistic people lie or twist the story to their advantage or tell half truths. They might claim that you're unstable, have mental health issues, are full of anxiety, are going crazy. And when you're around a narcissistic person, you can develop lots of different mental health issues. You can be ridiculed riddled with anxiety and stress and high blood pressure and so many health problems that this can match the stories that the narcissist is telling about you to those around you. A narcissist might even get you to the doctors for help so that they can play the victim of how much they're having to deal with you but the hero of how much they're helping and supporting you and what they're actually doing is sinking you while gaining the sympathetic attention from those around you. They can claim that you're the obsessed one, you're the one that's stalking them, you're the one that will not leave them alone. Now, at times when they will not answer a simple question, when they will not make a simple arrangement, when they let you down, when they promise you something, you can then message them, especially if it's about children. You said you were picking so-and-so up, where are you? So you can, yes, be messaging them. It's not to harass them, it's trying to arrange things. A narcissistic person will persistently message you about things that are nothing to do with the situation they will make stuff up they will twist events to their advantage to claim that you're the one that is obsessed and stalking them when more often than not they are obsessed and stalking and harassing you they will claim that you're the bitter one you're the jealous one you're the envious one because this makes the narcissist feel oh so special and superior that everybody wants them when really you've usually just had 
in all four you're trying to work out what is going on and yes we can all have feelings of resentment when we realize what we've been through we can all have feelings of anger towards somebody we can all have those pangs of jealousy when we've been fed one story and then delivered another and then someone gets delivered the story that we were once sold and question what's wrong with us this is good because we can all work out then what on earth is going on however to a narcissist they believe that they're just special and more important than everyone else when it comes to a narcissist in their rumors when they can no longer control you they want to control what other people think about you and the best way to handle this is by letting the narcissist get on with it you soon learn who the enablers and flying monkeys are this you soon learn the people you don't want to explain yourself to you soon soon learn people who will be there for you by just letting the narcissist crack on and get on with it it's hard However, that is the best approach because at some point then the narcissist will reveal who they are and you reveal who you are with your actions and not your words. Stay out of the smear campaign. Leave the narcissist to it. Winds a narcissist up far more than you explaining yourself to people.